It's seven in the morning right now. Woke up early because I realized that there's just two dumbasses that run this franchise. Kyle Shanahan's track record, all right, did not elect to scout Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes in the 2017 NFL Draft. We picked Solomon Thomas in that draft. <laughs> okay, okay. We didn't need a quarterback at the time, right? We had Brian Hoyer. We didn't need one. The plan was set. You know, we were gonna get Kirk Cousins the year later off free agency. That was our plan. So instead we used the third round pick on CJ Beathard. Then we start the next year 0-8 and, and we decide to panic and trade a second round pick for Jimbo. Wow. And then Kyle said no to Tom Brady. Who won a Super Bowl? Said no to Aaron Rodgers. Who's elite? He even said no to Matthew Stafford. Who not only won a Super Bowl, but beat us to win the Super Bowl. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It took me a couple days. <laughs> Getting bitten. Oh. They made this guy the QB2 ahead of Trey Lance. He lost his job to Sam Darnold. Ah, oh, man, my, your career's done, man. You're done, man. <laughs> you gotta find a different job, man. That's it. That's that's it. That, 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 they are not. That, 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 that's it. That's who you lost your job to. Right there. If it was like a vet or, or somebody with experience, somebody who's won before, you know what I mean? Then it's like, all right, we can let it slide. But Sam. Startled. I just don't understand the timeline. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna lose it. I'm actually gonna lose it. If one more of these flies come get to me, I'm gonna lose it. So we sat Lance for a year behind Jimmy G. Then we named him the quarterback one ahead of Jimmy G, ahead of Brock Purdy in training camp. So clearly we had faith in him that he would run this franchise and take us to the chip. And he plays in one and a half games, tears his ankle, and then doesn't practice all year, next year around, he loses his job to Sam Darnold. Some were, something's missing there. And I honestly blame that on Kyle Shanahan. I just never seen a coach misuse a third overall pick QB. Just not give a third overall QB a chance to run the ship. I, I've never seen it. Four career starts this guy. Four career starts. One was a monsoon, so it's really three. And then the other one, he tore his whatever. So really two. Both of these guys are just pussy. Like when the Trey Lance news come, oh my God, it's a B, it's a B, it's a B, it's a B. I'm a pussy, I'm a pussy, I'm a pussy, I'm a pussy. And then these two frauds don't even have the balls, the cojones, the nuts to go take the press conference right after the news gets leaked. They sent Fred Warner and Javon Hargrave, who just got here last week up to that podium. Kyle had to pre-tape, excuse me, Kirk's wife had to pre-tape his interview because he couldn't face the heat that the media was about to put him under. Spineless. And these are the guys who run this team. Such a fraud, man. He's so lucky his dad is fucking Mike Shanahan, man. He's such a fraud. <sighs> but now we get to the good stuff. Now we start talking about John. This guy's special. Three first round picks for Trey Lance. Three first round picks. Let me just read out the 10 names that went right after Trey Lance got picked. Keep in mind, we had pick 12 in that draft. The next 10 picks. Let me stand still for this. Kyle Pitts. Jamar Chase. Jalen Waddle. Penny Sewell. JC Horn. Patrick Sertan, <laughs> Devontae Smith, Justin Fields, Micah Parsons, and Rashawn Slater. Possibly one of the most stacked drafts that we'll see in this decade. And we took Trey Lance. Think about this, this guy paid Trey Lance 27 
$1.8 million for 262 snaps. That is $100,000 per snap. Every time Trey Lance gets under center and he goes 100,000. 100,000. 100,000. 100,000. 100,000. And now this guy can't sign Nick Bosa. Best player on our team. Just can't sign him. Listen to what he said, okay? John Lynch, worried. I don't like the situation. Since our tenure here, we haven't had a holdout anywhere towards this magnitude. Not something I'm comfortable with. That is the guy who runs this roster. He is the guy who traded three firsts Look at Trey Lance. You know what's worse is those three firsts, right? Like if they were bad players, then they'd be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we just threw them away, you know what I mean? It didn't matter. <laughs> no, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, Bradley Chubb were the three firsts. I'm telling you guys, man, that, that list of 10 players that got picked after Trey Lance, that might not be my Amon Ra St. Brown moment where I just start reciting all the receivers that were taken ahead of him. I might just start doing that every morning when I wake up just so I start out my day miserable. If these guys don't win it all this year, I want them fired. I don't care. Oh, there's no better head coach out there. I'll step in. I don't care. This guy's a fraud. This guy's an OC at best. This guy's an idiot. And then this guy, he needs to go back to TV. Uh, I, I don't know. He can't manage this team. I don't want him as the general manager. He needs to be the custodian. Best defense in the league in the last five years. If the reason we can't win a Super Bowl within this window is because we don't have an elite quarterback, these two have to go. They have to go. Especially when we had a chance to draft Watson and Mahomes. You know, I'm done. I'm done making this video. I'm going home. I'm so <laughs>